Lifestyle of the rich and famous Some die with the name, some die nameless Give me that nigga in the Hey, yeah, get your thoughts out of the media, man I appreciate y'all having me, man Salute, salute, salute <laughs> ah, Tell these niggas Push me too far and you'll see a video of me Killing the radio star Action on the set, I really off those deadly. Aiming at the external outside your kernel, get your popcorn ready. Mm -hmm. I throw bows okay. and amplify and won't let up neither. You should consider this a TED talk with a special speaker. High powered, you can get devoured. I'll throw something through the crowd that'll smack you on the side of your head, like Jawan Howard. Quit oh <laughs> the blood clot, Rasta, let's jam rock with a hand glock. They ain't seen this much toast bacon shit since hand porter at the sandlot. You live by the odds, I really beat those often. Close coffin, he'll go from sightseeing to people watching. <laughs> I draw weapons, now his soul's heaven. The 45 only needs six shots, because Jordan never made it to a game seven. <laughs> so we are here with Bad News Brown. What up? Shout out to the Northwest, we in here, Coronation 2. Facts, man, you just had a dope battle. Versus J Flo, how you feeling after this battle? Um, I definitely feel like I lost the battle. I mean, my energy was off. Yeah. Uh, cut my round short in round one. Round two was probably my best round. Round three, towards the end, I had to find the last part of my stuff, so I kind of had to go back in my bag for five or six seconds. Yeah. But you know, seventh, eighth battle, something like that. I'm pleased with like. There's certain progressions I'm seeing, but I definitely got to up my energy still. His energy was on full tilt. I mean, when you watch it, I probably have the better bar quality of the two, but like his energy stole the crowd, that type of thing. He did great. Facts, facts, man. How are you feeling uh, the Northwest vibe so far? Love it up here. Definitely want to come back up here. Definitely want to give an, a more energetic performance than the one I just gave. But, you know, you show up. I didn't get to get my Stewie knee bar off. I had to fire Stewie <laughs> knee bar. I guess I'll have to save that for the next time I'm up here. But, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. We battle. I love battle rap. I'm gonna keep growing through the process. Definitely. So your second round was fucking crazy to me. What like like did you did you did you write up this battle or did you write like how did you write? What I was wrote your preparation. Up. I kind of had a wild uh, last two days. So like yeah. it's kind of prepping through a lot of like weird shit. It's no excuses or anything like that. But certain comforts maybe I have walking into a battle weren't there. Whatever. Try not to let it affect me. Maybe it did, maybe it didn't. Either way, he was on full tilt in the in the moments that we had, and that's what counts in battle rap. So uh, I would say I'm pleased with this performance, but I think most of my performances, except one, have been better than this. I just felt like my energy was off until that second round. Second round started going. Sometimes you just know your shit, you know your shit, you know your shit. And then when you get out there, it's just so much happening. You know what I mean? You're trying to find it all, so... We grow through our battles, man. Uh, well, good shit, man. I can't wait to see you next up. When is your next battle? Um, I can't announce it yet, but I am debuting on one of the big four platforms at the end of June. Um, pretty excited about that. Uh, that will be announced May 14th, so be aware of that. I'm also going to be in uh, the Riot online uh, tournament for $1,000. That'll be starting sometime towards the end of the summer, early fall. Uh, so that's what I got booked right now. I may or may not be battling Lady J in uh, Austin, Texas in August. I'm just waiting to find that out. I just got that call yesterday. Uh, so we're working, you know what I mean? Obviously, I'm trying to book Thesaurus at the end of the year. Um, it's fire. But, you know, the work never stops from media to battles, man. Hey, man. Thanks, thanks. When? Hey, I got a question for you. Shoot. <laughs> you and Jay Flo went back to back to back a lot. Yeah. Now you know Jay Flo is going to talk big old shit. Oh, for sure. So, I'm just saying like this. What are you going to do in your next battle to show that that little shit that happened in this? One time thing. Um, just up the energy. He just was the better energy of the That's two of us today. I think like, he was the better energy. He was the cleaner performer. I think maybe one of the things that I might have did for this battle was over prepare. Like a lot of times like I'll prepare all through the week. And maybe once the day of, I've been preparing like all morning. Like I was already prepped, it's going over it so much. And then we got out there, I just didn't feel the energy I normally felt. You know what I mean? Maybe I need an iced coffee or something like that. But <laughs> I felt like my energy was super low. I gotta up that energy for sure. Facts, facts with bad news, man. Good shit. Where can the people find you, sir? Bad news underscore Brown TV on all social media platforms. Holler at your boy. And when you come out to the Northwest and worldwide, get your bars up. Facts.